Hello, my name is Matt, and welcome back to the 17th part of my Pokemon Insurgents walkthrough. Last time, we made it to Hecate Town, <laughs> and defeated the Infernal Cult, and uh, Zenith, but it was short-lived, because soon thereafter he summoned Groudon and ran away. But this time... I want to go to the gym. I think it's t I think it's time to uh, challenge the gym. But before we do so, there are some things that we can do in this town. Like for example, there's a diving spot right here, and if we just go in here and the music changes, it, and we enter the mysterious hideaway. Uh, right off the bat, I can see a little hidden grotto. Of sorts. Uh, this is. Oh, you can find Bigel on here. Nice. I love this little hide. It's so darn peaceful. Grass type. Cool. Okay. So she teaches you grass type moves, and there are lots of bug types in here, right? Multiple forms of Vivalon, probably, I imagine, Butterfree, Butterfree and Beedrill, and Floridus, and Floridus, I, wow. Right off the bat, we're, I, I'm, I'm discovering brand new things, but, and then you find this, like, tower of sorts, and you can't really go anywhere with it, because, I mean, look at this. I can't move anywhere. Yeah, so we're gonna have to hold off on that for a little while. Um, but until then, just go back. And here, let me let me pull up the wiki. Just uh, just make sure I've got everything, or I'm. Just make sure I have everything I have, I, or I should show off. Um, ooh, 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 ooh. Found something else to do. Um, let's go to our party, or let's go to the PC real quick. And do we have, oh yes, yes, uh, I forgot. Um, off camera, I caught some new Pokemon: Herman, the uh, Delta Sunkern, and Fanny, the Fanfi. And I think I'm just gonna go ahead and give them their evolution stones since I have them. That one and let's see that one. All right. So let's see. There is a trade you can do in this city. What? Um, that involves giving away a rock type for a pupitar, which is something, yes, I definitely want to do. Um, where is it? East of, east of the Pokemon Center. Um, east. The second floor... Yo, we should trade Pokemon. It'd be super sweet. I've got a Pupitar. That'd be a Pokemon you want, right? How about you give me another rock type in exchange? So, I'm gonna give away Sly. I mean, I'm, I'm very sorry, Sly. <sighs> I didn't I didn't get to use him at all, but it's alright. Awesome. Um, sends Pupitar. Gojira! <laughs> alright, so... We've got Gojira now, and let's see, um, honestly, hmm, this might be hard, this, this is going to be a hard decision, I want to get rid of, um, oh, excuse me, I want to get rid of Terror, yeah, one traded Pokemon for another. Okay. 
And, um, ooh. This might be a good time to show, uh, Gojira, or, like, um, armored forms off. So, I'm gonna do a little grinding, um, and we'll see how it, or, we'll see how it goes. And we're back! <laughs> Alright, after a bit of training, Gojira sits comfortably at level 62. I mean, it's the lowest out of our party, but, oh, trust me, that number is about to greatly improve um yeah so i taught him standard stuff rock slide earthquake screeching crunch and as you can see oops, apologies for that <laughs> um as you can see gojira is currently wearing armor so this means that um his defenses are 1.3 times the original. So instead of being like, probably what? Maybe 160 something physical defense? It's now 190. So that's pretty good. And let's see. I, I also managed to get my hands on the Levani armor. And so Nanu also has armor. Let's see yeah pretty pretty standard like that all three armors that we're able to obtain right now look very nice just just throwing that out there um yeah so without further ado let's go to the gym oh and also um quick side note uh Armored Tyranitar does not follow you around. I don't think they made a sprite for that, but that's fine. Hey, you! This gym is off limits. Clear out of here! And I just spit all over the place. Nasty. Alright. So, you just gotta, you gotta fight a grunt. You know, standard stuff. It does literally nothing to you. Oof, alright. Alright. <laughs> and then, Miss Magius. Or Miss Magius. <gasps> Holy crap, is that a shiny Miss Magius that another person has? <gasps> what? No! I refuse to accept this. Shiny Miss Magius. Ah. Oh. God. Whatever. Fine, just go. Whatever. Diana. Persephone. What are you doing here? I thought you swore off talking to me forever. I wasn't here to see you. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. Uh. You know. Darkrai! We've talked about this before. Oh, right. Listen, Persephone. I know you seem to think that I'm best friends with the legendary Pokemon, but I'm really not. I've never even seen the thing. Purse. <laughs> God dang it! <laughs> I had to think about that one for a moment. You need to you need to get out of this cult business while you still can. I get that you want revenge. So do I. But this isn't gonna work. You're going to get your hurt, yourself hurt, or worse. You better even get captured again. <sighs> Excuse me, I'm tired. Wow, Diana, the way you phrased that, it almost seemed like you cared. Oh, drop it, Persephone. It was years ago, and you abandoned me, Daya. That's not just water under the bridge. If you're not willing to help, I'm leaving. I'm a busy woman. People to meet, places to be. Child threats to the auger to capture. Child, huh? Huh? Nani? Child threats? Oh yeah, I suppose you haven't heard. I'm looking for a young boy who escaped custody a while ago. The auger's scared of him, and for good reason. If I don't find him, he's going to come after the cult of Darkrai. A kid, huh? Sort of like the one behind you? Y you Nani? <laughs> 
What are you doing here? Just my luck. Of course you'd appear when I don't have my full team on me. No matter. I'll still take you out right here. You're going back into custody. And this time, I'll finish what I started. Alright. First battle of Persephone. And... Well... You can think that this is a Mega Gengar all you want, but hate to burst your bubble, but ooh, he missed twice in a row. <laughs> the illusion was broken, so it was a Zoroark in disguise. Uh, Stone Edge, yeah, okay. I like Stone Edge. All right. Now, let's switch out into Mr. Fridge, because Greninja is going to... Absolutely wall! Oh, Gojira. Oof. A and he's... Oh, 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 okay. Yep. Great. Let's see. Hydragon. Guess there's... Guess I got no choice. So I gotta use my actual mega this time. <sighs> Ooh. Blue sky, why'd you have to go and get burned, my dude? <laughs> okay. Switch back into Gojira. Oh no. But he's gonna use, like, Nightmare or something. You know, actually, I could just use the Awakenings that I have. <laughs> rather than, uh. Oof. Alright. God dang it! Come on! Come on, Gojira. Yeah, there we go. All right. Spiritum is our last Pokemon. Um, but not good enough, my friend. All right. <sighs> good game, Persephone. Just my luck. Only I would find the very person I was looking for when I'm woefully unprepared. You better watch your back, Maddie B. I will find you again. Nobody escapes me twice. And Diana, Darkrai is mine. Don't even try. Maddie B, is it? I'm sorry you had to go through that with that. I'm Diana, the gym leader here in Celine City. Persephone is my sister, and she's not. She. Well. I'm not going to defend her. That would be dishonest. I do want to say that there's a reason why she does what she does. It doesn't justify it, but... Please don't rush to judge her. God dang it! <sighs> I'm so tired. You're a challenger, I guess. I mean, if you, can, if you want to take me on, I'll be in the gym. I'll meet you in the far back. Okay. Let's see. I'm gonna go back. Let's go back and heal up. And then we'll challenge, we'll challenge this bitty. Yeah, so Armored Tyranitar do, uh, doesn't really follow you around. Actually, hey, I see something. I spy with my little eye something blue. Something beautiful. I spy a rare candy. But, anywho. Um... Yeah. Shh. Oh, heck. I'll do that. I'll do that quest probably next time or something. Um, alright. I think it's like... Yep, alright. So... Actually, I'll let the gym guide just describe it. Well, hey there, champ. 
Diana ha here has a theme gemmed around dreams. That way she uses her two favorite types, psychic and ghost. Dark types are your friend here, I'm for sure. For sure. Ghost types too. Oh, and another thing. There's lots of trainers here that don't give as much experience as you might want. That's because you're supposed to avoid them. Take this for luck. Yeah, okay. Uh, so, you can either go through and defeat all these trainers, or you can just kind of cheese it. And there we go. So you just kind of walk through, and you avoid literally everybody. So, Diana, prepare to meet your match. Welcome, Challenger. I'm Diana. Yep. Dream. Yeah, just as the gym guide said. If you understood the poem, I'm... Yeah, there was a... Whatever. It's fine. Get right... Ooh. Diana's getting cocky about it. About this uh, gym battle. Even though, even though it's blatantly obvious who's going to win this. Oof. Okay. So I think that, um, let's see, it's, crap, what is it next? Ah, eh, whatever. I'll just switch into, uh, Blaziken. Yeah, I'll go, I'll go back to Blaziken. <sighs> Excuse me, God. So bad. Like, so tired. I, I don't get it. But, um, anywho, about her Sableye, I think it was holding a Choice Scarf, so, it, and maybe it was trying to trick us the Choice Scarf or something? I don't know. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know what the AI is thinking. Look at that. He didn't even get a chance to do anything. Alright, God, Mega Gothitelle, everybody. Sorry if... I, Spoilers, by the way. Um, Mega Gothitelle is interesting by the fact that um, it has three typings. Dark, Psychic, and Ghost. Because of its ability that actually raises its... Um, that actually not, doesn't raise anything. It just gives it ghost immunities and uh, weaknesses and whatnot. But, I think... Ooh, that's nothing to Gojira. Yeah, all right. And then Cresselia. Chris, if it's if they're not if she if she's using Cresselia like um competitively. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, that'll be that'll be very fun. Just keep crunching. I think we got him. Yep. Alright. That's game. Good game, Diana. But I'm still good. That was a stunning battle. Seems I've it seems as if I've been toppled. I guess it had to happen eventually. Congratulations, here's your prize. Get the Dreamland badge and so, Ooh. It can also attract rare po it can also attract rare wild Pokemon. In certain areas, such as the Friend Safari. I take this too as a gift for me. <sighs> Psychic. This TM. Yep. Because it's really good. Amphorite City. My boyfriend, Calrith, runs the gym there. <laughs> this team specializes around the rain, so you might want to prepare for that. Oh, and don't forget, you can exit the gym by just going straight down. Right. So... Let's see if we can still read the poem. A chance. Wait, heck. A chance was taken, a chance was missed. To not fight trainers and to persist. But a chance you had and have again to walk straight down into her domain. Yeah, so. They give you poems, but you can just kind of like walk straight through. <gasps> Yo! Was that Tayin? Let's go! We're gonna. Alright, I'm gonna go heal up and. We're gonna go battle Tayan, apparently. Um, just wanna let's see. 
Just want to be prepared for this. Um... Oh, wow. Okay. All right. All right. Let's put, um, let's put Blaziken in the front. I, I just got, I just have a hunch. Whew. All right. Tan. This battle is going to be fun. I remember it. Okay. Route 13. Nobody battles on this route. Seriously. So, you can, so you're free to just run along willy-nilly as you please. Um, and then the Dragon Ruins. You can find a plethora of Pokemon here, actually. Like, uh, let's see. Sceptile. You can find Charizard. You can find this. You can find that. You can find a lot of Pokemon in this route. Honestly, though. Like, more than just Sceptile. At, at. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, hey. There's another magnet. Yeah, you can find, like, Credidly and stuff like that. The magnet. Okay. Great. Yeah, like, Golurk. Okay, okay. I'm gonna put on a repel. I need, I need a little time to get through this, uh, maze. Let's see. Where is it? There we go. And I bought way more super repels than I think I'll ever need. But, mm, you never know how many you're actually going to need before um, you actually do anything. <laughs> or before you actually go anywhere. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Nope, that's the wrong way. I think, mm, maybe? I think that might be the right way. And then, yeah, alright, alright. I got it. Okay. Save your game, because this is going to be important. Maddie, Maddie B. Raps. I'm so glad you decided to show up. This is the moment of my triumph. Every time I failed you, you were there to witness it. After we tried to create the perfect Delta Pokemon, after we experimented with Mega Evolution, and the incident with Pokerus and Maldi, and now that our experiment with armor failed too, you might think we're running out of ideas. Tell me, Maddie B, Nora, do you know the myth of the Unovan dragon? Legend speaks of a gargantuan dragon that once reigned all over Unova. Its powers were supervised by two brothers, the princes of the region. However, these brothers constantly fought over their beliefs. One seek truth, and one strove for ideals. And by finding no middle ground, they split the great dragon into three. Reshram, truth. Um, Zekrom ideals emerged where Kyurem was left as the dragon's empty husk. The rune is very vain, very ancient. While the dragon did rule Unova, the war between the brothers was in Torin. In fact, the great splitting was at this very spot. A shrine was built here in hopes that one day the dragon might be formed once again and bring peace to the land. That day is today. While Rekura has been busy experimenting, the most important job in the, in the Perfection Cult was left to me. It was difficult, but I, I needed three legendary Pokemon, but I succeeded, and now, the original dragon was said to be a sign of leadership, of wholeness. It represented opposing beliefs, finding neutral ground and working together, the ideal of harmony, and of perfection. Once we summon this creature, we'll be unstoppable. The only thing left is to begin. Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kiram. It's time to it's time to return to your origins. Join together and become whole once more. God dang it. Ignis et fulgura fiunt unum unum. Uno. And now, great dragon of Unova, the perfect, the divine perfect god. Emerge the great name here. Ah, <laughs> uh, what did you say? Maybe you didn't hear me, dragon. I said emerge the great name here. Are you reading that off a scroll? Yeah, why? I'm pretty sure you're reading that wrong. I think you're supposed to say the dragon's name at that part, not just name here. It's probably a placeholder. Oh, huh. 
That's what these parentheses are for. But, hold on. That's impossible! Nobody knows the, the name of the original dragon! The only names that survived were Reshiram, Zekrom, and Kiram. How are we supposed to bring it back then? Fine. I was hoping to resurrect the original dragon today, but it seems like that's not the that's not happening. I'll find that name. I'll search every scroll, text, and or book until I learn it. But for now, I'll split you into Kiram, White, and Zekrom. Come forth and serve me. All right. And now, wait. Why are the what? Why are there two Kirams? <laughs> I'll deal with you two here and now. This is the end. Right. So this is like... A cr this is kind of a hard battle sometimes. But, on the bright side, it's a tag battle, so... You're not quite alone in this. Uh, actually, I think I'm gonna just... You know, I don't want to kill Nora right away. So, I'm just gonna... Oof. Alright. That was point... Ugh. That was a lot of damage. Okay. Um... Blaziken can't do much about... Oh, jeez. Really? Well, this is gonna go over well. That is one of Tayan's aces. Yeah, that yeah, I, I, I intend to do no damage by this, but I wanna show off what other Pokemon um Nora has in her arsenal right now. Um Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go into Gajira. Because Gojira can take a hit. Like, a lot of hits. Um, I want to use... Stone Edge on that Salamence. That Salamence is getting annoying. And this is actually the first battle that I've been, like, considerably underleveled. Oh, uh, well, I guess I'm going for the... Uh... That's That just made me, like... That made me scared a little. <laughs> yeah, because both of these got both of these Pokemon out. Uh, both of his Pokemon out right now know the move Focus Blast, so I might be in huge trouble here. God dang it! Ooh! No, not Gojira! Uh, after all the work I did. Training you up, and you just go and you just had to go and die. Um, I suggest getting rid of that Luxray as fast as humanly possible. Because I mean, what else is there to say? It's got guts. Hey, Nora's got Nora's got the right idea. Okay. Yeah, that, that won't do much damage, because ground against bug is not very effective. Uh, but, I just I just took out two of the Pokemon. That's pretty good. But, I think the best for last. Honestly, though, this is going to be... This is probably the hardest part of the battle, in my opinion. Um, I think it's, it's kind of funny, though. Uh, what am I going to do? I think it's kind of funny how... Um, it's Armored Flygon and Mega Flygon against Zekrom, Zekrom and Kier, well, Kieran White. Uh, I'm probably not going to outspeed, so I'm just going to go for Fly on the Kiram. Just Okay, that's cool too. God dang it, I hate you, Nora. So much. Hey, alright. Come on. God dang it! Alright, yeah, you totally had to go for me, Tayan. Totally. Right. <sighs> he used Outrage, right? So... There's a chance that he'll be shut down by that. Right? Think that's a game. Let's just... Yeah, alright. Wow, Mega Flygon is actually really good. Holy mackerel. 
All right, we got... You no, know, impossible. Yeah, we got him. What? Impossible. Don't you know who I am? What? Kirim. Reshiram, Zekrom, what's happening? The ritual wasn't done yet. Get back together. No! Zekrom, get back here. Reshiram. Resh... Oh, God dang it. Wrong voice. I'm so glad you're okay. You're not hurt, are you? You're all fools. This isn't the end of this. I'll bide my time. You better hold on tight to your friend, child. Because once I find that name, you're going to wish that Reshiram was only stolen from you. Kiram, let's go. We're leaving. That was scary. I'm, I'm glad nobody knows, but I can't help wondering. What was the name of that dragon? Well, I have a theory. It's probably wrong, but Kiram is the shell of the original dragon, right? It's what was left after Reshiram and... Zekrom split from it. And there's the fact that the fusions are called Kirim White and Kirim Black. Well, I don't know if you remember this, but back at the Atira Library, I was looking uh, at a book on Unovan word structures. There was a page that talked about the legendary trio. Reshi, a prefix that meant truth. Zek, a pre which is a prefix that meant ideals. Ugh. Nobody... Nobody really agrees on what Q means, but most transla translations believe it is whole or complete. I never really questioned how little sense that ever made. Kiram was, Kiram was the opposite of complete, after all. Tayan said that, yep, yep, maybe perfect. Wow, I never thought of that. Yeah, it's just a theory, though. A game theory. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Maddie B. The Infernal Cult said that they were in the mountains, right? We have to go after them. If we strike before them, if we strike them before they strike us, maybe we can have a chance. Oh, I nearly forgot. Your Mew can. Yep, yep. So, we get Celebi's DNA, and we can use the move Tesseract outside of battle. Um. Let's, yeah. Well, I I actually want to show it off. Okay, I think. No, there's nothing you can do here, but. I'm just, I just want to show it up. I just want to show, uh, oh my god. Some forest keeps you from flying here. That's, that's great. Uh, let's see. Go this way, and then up, and around, and over, and do, do, do. Uh, go that way, and that way, and that way. Pick up that TM, which it happens to be Focus Blast, so, um, Blaziken can get, like, a new good move, I guess. If, if, I mean, if you have a, if you have a Typhlosion up to this point in the game, um, yeah, I hope, I hope you realize, um, how good some of these Pokemon I picked are. Uh, let's see, go that way, and done. Alright, so, we're out of there, we're out of there. <laughs> um, let's see, I actually, I'm gonna, I wanna show this off. Alright, so you go... So we're in the gym, you know, we're going, we're going. I think that, yep, okay, so do you see this? So, you use Tesseract with a, uh, on a red light, an item appeared from the past, and you get the Gothitite. So, and, let's see, I wanna show one, I wanna show one more off, and then I think we'll call it for the day. Um, we go to Kepler City. Um, we go up to the gym. I think I think you all might know I think you uh, might know what's what I'm about to do here. So go this way, up and around it. Nope, that's a dead end. Uh, gosh darn it, dead end. There we go. We go this way, and up and around and over, and still a dead end. Go this way, and this and there. There's another one. Can't believe it. An item appeared. You get the Metagrossite. Uh, it doesn't work for every gym. It only, I think it only works for like those four, I think. Maybe, but, or maybe, maybe those two, I think that's all it works for. But, uh, next time we're gonna have to go back and like, seriously, um, 
pick up things we've missed along the way because we, we haven't been able to do it. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, yes, I'm going to wrap it up. <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like. Uh, if you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe and comment any questions you may have about this great game below. And I will see you guys next time. Later. <laughs>